Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for May 22nd, 2020. Well, hey everyone, we're getting ready to slide into a nice three day weekend. We had a little bit of selling yesterday, and there was some pressure on the market during the night that may have some effect as we open up today. Let's um, let's settle into our chair, let's get something to drink, and let's prepare for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, we have just a little tiny bit of pressure on the market. Um, we heard overnight that China is cracking down with a new security law in Hong Kong. Hong Kong sold off heavily last night, dropping um, over 5.5% by the close. And it's all related to um, some security issues that China uh, deems as necessary to um, stop really to stop the protests and things like that over in China folks over there obviously very upset suggesting that this crackdown is removing freedoms and um, causing some um, tensions certainly over there now we also have some tensions growing between the u.s and china i don't know if you caught this or not but on wednesday the u.s senate passed legislation that could restrict chinese companies from listing in the united states unless they adhere to um, u.s um, regulatory rules and um submit to audits of their company so kind of an interesting situation we're seeing this little tension grow uh, between uh, us and china that could create a little bit of news driven things this weekend so i just want to caution everyone to be just a little bit careful plan your risk carefully as we head into this nice long weekend now let's take a look at the technicals of the chart and see what we have to look at here well first off dug on it we just continue to pound against this resistance here but the bears seem to have a pretty good line of defense here we try and try and try and just can't quite get through there um, pushing to the upside but one thing i gotta i gotta say is we still have to give this up to the bulls and i'm gonna start a trend right in here and run this up you can see we're building this uh, wedge pattern in here we continue to uh, be stuck in this range um, it's honestly kind of an interesting thing because rarely do you see an index fall into such a long um, consolidation range and it's actually a pretty wide range um, to boot so if we do find the bears pushing a little bit today with a little bit of worry into the weekend remember we could drop pretty heavily um, in points if that starts to occur there may be some reasoning for that too just simply because of you know the the weekend risk and those tensions that appear to be growing between the us and china so just kind of keep that in mind and plan your risk carefully as you head into this long weekend another thing to really make note of is what's been happening here the last several days is volumes have been dropping and not too big of a surprise as we head into a long weekend and we can expect volume to even be less um, today as a matter of fact this afternoon could be quite light and as a result what I'm planning to do is shortly after the market open I'm gonna head out for my weekend and just call it a week and I suspect there's going to be a lot of traders and investors doing the same so kind of keep that in mind now on the technical front here we are still in a um, bullish pattern with um, that 50-day moving average flattening out round rounding up we obviously are still underneath our 500 day and our 200 day moving averages and we continue to just struggle against this price resistance in the chart that is rather substantial and so we'll just have to watch that closely could we see some selling yes we could could we finally break through yes we could you know it's really all going to come down to um, the 
the follow through energy and the confidence that folks have with the reopening of the economy. So just keep an eye on it and it may be something to watch here as we head into the weekend. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY, also challenged by this resistance zone up here. We just can't seem to push up through there. We try and try and try. But the other thing that we have to make note of is that there really has been no selling here. Nobody seems to care. Um, um, and we're holding on quite well. Once again, we have that wedge in here forming. And um, we have this relatively wide range of uh, support and resistance in here that we're going to have to watch carefully if we do start selling off. Just a tiny little pressure this morning. We're gapping down just slightly. Um, could we see some selling into the weekend? I think that's possible. Folks light, lightening up and taking some profits as we head into the weekend. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now, the Qs obviously remain the strongest of the index but it took the hardest hit yesterday, leaving behind a bearish engulfing candle right here at some price resistance in the chart. So the queues saw a little bit of pullback. Now, one of the things we've been seeing is some of those big um, uh, NASDAQ companies, the Apple, uh, Google, Amazon, uh, Microsoft, doing the majority of the lifting here overall. If those big four start to sell off, we could see some selling across the board. So watch that carefully if those big four start pulling back a little bit. Also, let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM, once again, challenged by resistance. But what was interesting is IWM remained one of the stronger indexes yesterday which was kind of kind of an interesting situation it uh, it's been one of the weaker um, over and over and over and yesterday held up pretty well but we're still challenged by that price resistance we'll want to Watch that carefully, uh, particularly in the market today, when we're looking at just a little bit of selling pressure here this morning. Not not a ton, but we saw all of Asian markets down last night. Um, European markets are bearish this morning because of these rising U.S.-China tensions. So we'll want to watch that pretty carefully to see whether or not um, our markets can hold up under that pressure heading into this weekend. Let's take a look at the VIX. That VIX yesterday held on to some support. So which that was kind of interesting yesterday that we didn't, e even with the attempt to rally and, and the pushing that we had, we saw a little bit of, tiny little bit of fear coming into the market. What that could potentially create if we rally from here is a little bit of a higher low. And nothing terrible in here. We're still trying to deal with this downtrend as resistance but if we see some selling here today that might perk that up and raise a little bit of fear in the market we'll want to watch that pretty carefully um, with that approaching weekend and that, that uncertainty those tensions growing anything is possible here so watch that pretty close let's take a look at t2122 now t2122 is where it really is suggesting that we are a little bit stretched here in the market and that possibility of some selling could come in here. So can we continue to float around up here? Yes, we can. We don't necessarily have to sell off. And T2122 is not an indicator that says today is the day we sell off or anything like that. What it is is just one of those indicators that we may be a little bit stretched, that we may have pushed, maybe pulled this rubber band a little bit too far to the upside, and we could see that profit taking start to come in. So watch that carefully today, just in case we get those sellers that start to pile on. And as we head into this weekend, everyone one maybe... Uh, would start reducing risk as as we slide into that three-day weekend. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar does doesn't really have anything to um, to really make note of today. It is a really really boring day um, um, overall. Um, so 
not much going on here and probably nothing that's going to affect the market overall today. We do have a few earnings uh, to make note of, about 29 companies reporting earnings, most of those being um, small caps, but we do have a couple notables. Um, BKE, uh, the buckle is going to report today. Um, it'll be interesting to see. Now this is in a pattern, what we call a rounded bottom breakout. And it's, it's one of those really favorable patterns that we look for that rally uh, potentially up into here. If we can get a good report, possibly that RBB pattern will hold. Um, right now we've got a really wide bid ass spread here on um, the buckle and almost looking like it may be favoring the downside. So kind of keep an eye on that. Um, retail has held up pretty well this week and maybe they'll come in better than um, what it's showing right now. John Deere, has also been in rally mode this week and it is reporting this morning and you can see gapping higher now one of the things you want to also pay attention to is although we are gapping up you want to make note of the fact that we're gapping right into a price resistance and a rel relatively strong price resistance in that chart so uh good news that it, they reported better than expected and and we saw see some buyers in here but maybe not um something to to really celebrate all that much last but not least of the notables that i pulled out this morning would be Foot Locker. Foot Locker reporting this morning and you see it's going the other direction gapping down where a lot of the retailers uh, did really well this week uh Foot Locker not so good pulling back here this morning so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day and a great weekend but before i go if you guys can do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon to make sure that you're notified every time i post one of these videos you know it's amazing to me that i'm already over 800 videos on youtube and doing these daily videos takes an awful lot of time and effort and i just want to say thank you to every one of you who clicks those thumbs up buttons and leaves a comment. Um, yesterday I was so busy I didn't get to answer many of those comments, but today will be different. I will answer those comments and I want to just say thank you so much everyone. You guys humble me every day and um, I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. So with that, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up things we might want to keep an eye on here in the market. Well, one of the things that I'm going to be uh, maybe paying attention to here this morning is if we start getting some selling places we might want to look for safety. So you might want to take a look um, over in gold. Now gold pulled back yesterday, but you can see it's popping up a little bit this morning, um, trying to move up. By the way, if you, uh, TC2000, the, uh, these two little red arrows over here indicate bid-ass spread. So it is popping up a little bit this morning. And these US-China tensions may actually increase that just a little bit. Keep an eye on that. Overall, depending on how you wanna draw this trend, but right in here, we're just, this was nothing more than a pullback to test trend test a price support in the chart. So if we start perking back up here, there may be some opportunity in that gold sector. Um, we've also seen, uh, saw silver pull back yesterday, but silver's had an amazing sharp run up here. Um, usually don't see silver move quite that quickly and moved up very, very sharply, as you can see, really separated from its trend. And all we're really doing here right now is pulling back to test the breakout of that support. So silver might be another place to maybe keep an eye on if tensions continue to grow here between U.S. and China. Other stocks that you might be able to look at, um, um, Newmont Mining. Newmont Mining um, has been in a really nice trend. Yesterday saw some pretty heavy selling. Um, could be failing here, but if this gets a little bit of tension arising in here, you can see we're trying to gap back up here this morning. And if we can find a way to hold um, support right in this area, we may have that opportunity to move on higher. Just keep it in mind, it may not be the best of stocks right now. And also Barrick Gold, um, um, 
is one I've been kind of keeping an eye on. It also suffered a little bit yesterday in the pullback, but notice that we are gapping back up, trying to recover everything we lost yesterday in that stock. So keep an eye on those. Other places you might want to look. Um, if you're looking for a short trade, you may want to think about CCJ. CCJ has kind of broken down here. As you can see, we've kind of slipped um, in this move. We've created those lower highs and we have have a bit of a downtrend here in play. A little bit of selling came into that yesterday, and if we, I've got an alert on this chart right here. If we slip on through there, there might be a shorting opportunity setting up here in CCJ. Other places that you might want to take a look at beyond meat continuing to hold up here. This one has just consolidated this nice and tight move, and we keep sliding over and over toward the trend. It's one of the things I always watch for. Um, I'll tell you guys, I, I am a very, very simple trader. Um, I do simple things. I, I, I maintain a strong win-loss ratio just because I, I all I do is follow the market. I don't try to predict anything. Um, I just try to follow the market and wait for those good potential setups. And two of those would be right in here where we move up strongly, we pull back to trend, and I see buyers step up in here. And the next move is I call that a pullback opportunity. Um, stocks rise and then consolidate over to trend. And I'm waiting, looking for those entry points on those trades. And um, right now, Beyond Meat is continuing to set up that good type of trade, showing some strength in there overall. Other stocks had a little selling here yesterday in Activision, but what I want you to notice is that so far we haven't broken support here in that chart, and we've just been largely consolidating this move. So let's keep an eye on this. As this moves closer and closer over here to trend, that opportunity that we could push on higher and maybe attack some additional highs here in the chart. Um, Activision has been really strong. EA is another that has been quite strong, got a little selling going going on yesterday. It tried to break out and pulled back. So maybe it's not quite ready to move, but let's keep an eye on this if it does um, catch some support in here and follow through. Of course, if it continues to break down, this pattern may um, be null and void and, and we could see some selling coming into that uh, trade. Dollar General is one I've been keeping an eye on, and Dollar General has pulled back now to test this support level in the chart. A little bit of a choppy support area in here, and it is certainly possible that we could fail and break on down here. But Dollar General has held up pretty well, and in the light of our economic conditions and things like that, these um, discount stores seem to be doing quite well. So let's keep an eye on that if that can perk back up in here. Now, make note that this is going to report on 528, so it may not be the best buy right now, but something you want to take a look at. Take a look at CRWD. CRWD has moved nicely. We've been looking at this. It alerted the other day, here or this week, and has continued to slowly kind of climb up. One of the things that we're seeing in a lot of stocks right now is that we're just not getting a lot of momentum in the moves. It's really those big four that have been kind of lifting most of everything, and a lot of other things have been just kind of lingering around, not doing very well. But something to watch, key, uh, pay attention to. It is holding up quite well here. Um, other places um, um, that I've seen some nice movement and some good patterns starting to develop, uh, CGC in the cannabis um, arena. Cannabis moving up here, and you can see breaking this downtrend, and we've tested this as support and saw bulls pushing in yesterday, moving this on up. And it's looking like this morning, uh, CGC may try to open about where it closed and could even push a little bit more to the upside. Keep an eye on that uh, good potential trade setting up in there. If you want more of a ETF, a more of a... Um, um, there we go. More of a um, non-individual stock trade. Take a look at um, MJ. MJ holding up in here nicely. And we had this nice little breakout, a hold of support, nice little three-day rest in here. Buyer stepped in, pushing it on up. MJ looking pretty good and could move on higher. So keep um, some of these cannabis stocks in mind for potential trades.
So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a great day of training. I will be taking off early today. I just don't, I think we're probably going to see light and choppy price action. And um, I just want to go enjoy myself, I guess, for a long weekend. So um, I want to wish you guys, though, all of the best in your trading today. And um, probably more importantly, I want to wish you a very safe and happy uh, Memorial Day holiday. Everyone, take care of yourselves, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning, we have Monday off. yippee ki -yay. Everyone take care. Have a great one. We'll talk to you soon.